What up guys, welcome back to Base Damage, and today I wanted to bring to you a budget deck from the Overlord set. Uh, this I've had this for a bit, and I had to mess around, tweak it a little bit more, uh, but I definitely have enjoyed messing with this deck. Uh, it, it's got a couple neat little surprises that your opponent might not be expecting. Uh, so, let's just get right into this. Uh, it is blue-yellow. Uh, it primarily focuses on Mamon... Uh, in Ainz's form where he's like Dark Knight or whatever. Uh, I haven't watched the anime in a hot minute, but this this was a pretty neat little arc in terms of them meeting up with uh, Evil Eye and everything. So teaming up for a little bit there. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's get right into it with the level threes. M most of the double rares in this, like I said, uh, this one, uh, the Nabe level zero right here, and the Mamon, they're all pretty cheap right now. I was kind of surprised at the cost of the double rares being like, I think the Nabe is like a dollar or less. And the other two are just like less than that, like less than like 70 cents or something like that. I had, I had to look at it again, but uh, this was really cheap and this was really fun to make. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it with the uh, three, two 95 Nazarix values Nabe. If your waiting room has two or less climaxes, this card gets minus one level in your hand. So you get an early play. Uh, experience. If the total level of cards in your level is four or higher, this gets plus 1,000 power. Also, when it's placed on stage from hand, look at X, uh, look at up to X cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card amongst them. X is equal to the number of characters your opponent has. So... I put four copies in here because one, this has an experience and the Mamon has an experience. Uh, I put four copies of this in here, literally so just one of them can be thrown in, uh, thrown into your uh, to your level for the experience effect. So if you, if you just go ahead and toss one of these into your level, like very beginning of the game, it's not going to hurt you at all. And then you still have three to work with for the rest of the game. Uh, but it definitely helps contribute towards her own experience as well as fixing the Mamon's experience, which needs to be two or higher. So... Then the uh, the the climax combo for level three is a three two ten k, blue rose evil eye, uh, on play get to heal one always good. Then the climax combo when the pants trigger the fifth tier magic caster is played, you get to uh, activate one of two effects. Uh, the first effect does not have a cost. The second one does have a cost to it, but we'll get to that. First effect is the one I use the most personally. It is if you have another blue or raven black character, choose up to three cards from the top of your opponent from your opponent's waiting room, return them to your opponent's deck, and then they shuffle. So you get to decompress them a little bit, which is pretty cool. The second effect is choose is you get to discard two cards and deal X damage to your opponent. X is equal to the number of climaxes in your opponent's waiting room. You can, if you try field this, you can like use the first two, like say use the first two to send some cards back in. You can send climaxes back if you want to burn them for like a specific amount with the last one. You can do that. More often than not, you're probably just going to be like, you know, decompressing them as much as possible and hoping that uh, so it can make your damage stick a lot easier. So, but that burn effect is nice and like I said with multiple copies of this, you can control how much burn you're doing so but uh four copies of that then three copies of a new legend mamon uh the so three two ten k uh during your turn when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed you can pay one stock and choose one of your opponent's level three or lower characters that character does not stand during your opponent's next stand phase this doesn't always come up but it can if your opponent has like a brainstormer or something just like they used it the last turn and you just go uh yeah you're not using that next turn just kind of thing it's just a really fun thing to do to piss them off uh but the main effect that you use them for is uh up to one time per turn during the turn this car was placed on stage from your hand at the end of this card's attack you can arrest one of your standing characters if you do put three cards from the bottom of your opponent's deck into his or her waiting room if you did not send any climaxes off that effect you can stand this card so a uh, potential restander pretty cool uh and because there's no like major cost for it i keep this one particular level zero right here just in the back row and it can just be sitting there and you just can rest it for this effect which is pretty cool uh but three copies of that 
And that's it for the level threes. To get into the level twos, first off, we have Commending Humans Mammon. Uh, its first effect, it has a twin drive effect where you pay one stock to trigger check twice. I don't really use that that much personally. Uh, but when this card's uh, when this card becomes reversed, it can anti change. If your opponent's uh, if the battle opponent is a higher level than your opponent's level, you can put uh, that character into your opponent's stock, and if you do, your opponent's put put the bottom card of your opponent's stock into his or her waiting room. Uh, so really good, just basically be able to bomb anti change bomb like that. It's really good. Next we have Cold Reaction Nabe. This is also an anti change. Uh, which it's a 2500 backup first and foremost but it does have a anti-change where when you use this card's backup you can discard two cards choose one of your opponent's characters with a higher level than their level and put it into their waiting room uh, the pitching two can be a little bit hefty with this deck but it's there and if they really have something annoying you just kind of have to use it then you know it's better to just go ahead and pop it uh, but Honestly, like, I still wanted to have this because it's 2500 backup as well, but primarily for anti-change, you're probably going to want to use this guy. But this is still a good backup as well. Also, the art kind of connects right there. That's cool. Uh, then we have Invisibility Magic Evil Eye. It is a 214K. It is a level assist uh, to characters in front of it. And you can tap it to give a blue or raven black character the ability that when the battle opponent becomes reversed, you can put that character on the bottom of your opponent's deck. So really interesting little effect there for some spot removal. I just, wanted to, I just really teched in one. It doesn't come up with so much anyway. So I just kind of have it at one. Uh, but it is really cool uh, just for that little bit of spot removal if you can get that off. And that's it for the level twos. Hopping right into the level ones, we have Sub uh, Subjugation of the Wise King of the Forest, Mamon. It's a 1-1-45. If, the card, if this card is in the middle position of your center stage, this card gets plus 3,000 power and plus 1 soul. It also has character encore. But if it's in the middle position, this becomes a 75 with 2 soul. That could be kind of oppressive uh, over, long, uh, over longer games. So because of that, though, I only have two copies because you can't really get too much advantage off of having multiple like like a play set or anything in the deck because it has to be a middle um, middle position of your center stage for it to even get those buffs there's just no point to really run more than two so but now the the biggest thing that's going to be kind of a wall for your opponent to get over hero of heroes mumble this is a really awesome card uh first off it has experience if the total level of cards in your level is two or higher this gets 2k power. So it's just a constant 106k, especially if you take my advice and toss like a copy of the Nabe into your level, like right at the very beginning of the game. Like that's just really cool. Uh, just to constantly have that, like I really like any level one with a plusing engine that has a good defense. A, a lot of the good cards like will typically be like, uh, on play or when you play a climax or when this attacks it gets like you know uh, gets like a big buff but then defensively can be weak mamon he knows offense and defense is important so uh, that this is really cool and i like that because of that but even more so uh it has a climax combo with this 1k1 spin trigger the curtain rise the curtains rise on a legend i can talk <laughs> When the battle opponent becomes reversed, if you have that in your climax area, this gets plus one level and 2,500 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then, reveal the top card of your deck, if that is a grotesque race or humanoid race, it's every card in the deck, it doesn't matter, put it into your hand. Like Even like the evil eye here has grotesque race and uh, grotesque race, uh, even girl here, grotesque race. So, I mean, you, you have all of that in this deck, it doesn't matter. So... The biggest thing for this, though, is that stays. The, the 2k from experience is constant, making it a 106k. Then if this combo goes off, it becomes a, a level 2 85k wall. Or 80, 80, uh, 8,500 attack wall. Like that is that is massive. You have other things that buff in this deck as well that can get that like up to 9k easily. So just being able to do that with like a you know a zero cost character is just kind of crazy. Um, obviously, there are a lot of cards you kind of have to worry about now that say, oh, if the battle opponent is cost zero or 
uh, or less, then it doesn't get reversed or whatever. That's another reason why you have this boy right here to be able to get over that. So, uh, but this is really good, and you can possibly plus off of it as well. Really cool. Uh, then two copies of this Hamuske, which is a 1500 backup. Just nice to have the extra little bit of backup there. Uh, four copies of Blue Rose Lacius is a 104K. It gets 500 power for each of your other blue or raven black characters. So full field, 6K. Once again, offense and defense, really good. Uh, the second effect may seem a little bit familiar for anyone who's played Sword Art Online. When this card is put into the waiting room from the stage, you may reveal up to three cards from the top of your deck. If you revealed one or more cards, choose up to one blue or raven black character from amongst them. Put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room, then you discard one card. Uh, this is the exact same card text, uh, this exact same effect as Determination with Life on the Line Kirito, which is really expensive. This is not, this is very cheap. And I, I saw this, I was like, this has to be a four of, I have to put this in the deck. So... This is really cool, and I like that even though it's the same exact effect, it's cheaper and honestly just a better card, in my opinion. Uh, then that is it for the level 1, so we're going to get into the level 0s. We have Beautiful Princess Nabe is a 0, zero 15, but if your stock is 2 or less, it gets an additional 15, making her a 3k. And then it, to follow the, the whole ninja aesthetic, we have at the beginning of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level 1 or higher, you may return this card to your hand. She just kind of bounces out of there. So, very useful and a very good effect. It definitely has to be a 4 of. Uh, 4 copies of Blue Rose Tino. When this card attacks, choose one of your characters. That character gets 500 power till end of turn. Extra little buff. Kind of comes up every now and then. Uh, when this card becomes reversed in battle, if it, the opponent is level 0 or lower, you may put that character at the bottom of your opponent's deck just get rid of some problem cards get them out of here really cool very much very very nice to have uh then we have the brainstormer of the deck this is also a four of your other character in the middle position of your center stage gets 500 power once again if it's a uh, big boy right here you know make him even bigger make him a uh, 8k <laughs> so or if it's mom on here you can bump him up to a nine so very good there uh brainstorm effect is pay one tap this card flip four cards for each climax revealed search your deck for up to one blue or raven black character so definitely good this i feel just has to be a four of the uh, last one is four copies of a maiden's heart evil eye uh it's a 500 assist in front all of your blue or raven black characters in front of this card get 500 power uh, and when this card is placed on stage from hand uh reveal the top card of your deck if it's an event blue or or it's a blue or a blue or raven black character Put into your hand, then discard one card. So the filtering is really nice. You get to top check and you know try to dig further for uh, brainstormer and everything. So uh, I definitely like just like also like I said, being able to have this here for the restander. It's just going to kind of sit there and uh, you be able to tap it because of that. And it's kind of nice that the brainstormer only has to tap herself. You don't have to like tap two characters. So you don't have to worry about that. You'll basically almost always have some kind of target for restander boy. But obviously the biggest thing you want to do is try to try field this blue rose evil eye and decompress your opponent as much as possible maybe get some burn damage off as well really just kind of depends but and then obviously four copies of the spin trigger and four copies of the pants trigger uh yeah like i said this has been a very fun deck to mess around with it's just been a little bit since i uh since i was able to uh tweak it any so i had to mess around with it a bit before doing some more test playing uh, but I very much enjoyed this. It, it's, it may not be the best thing in the world, but right now, it's budget. And that's what I like to post on this channel, is being able to post a lot of budget decks and make it, you know, uh, more accessible for people, especially because they, like, reprinted more of these recently. I say recently, but within the past, like, year. So, but with that, uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want. If not, hey, thanks for stopping by to check it out, and we'll see you all on the flip side. Peace out for now.